Welcome, my name is Chef Ernie, and today I'll be showing a food demonstration on an easy hot dog meal you can cook any night. Your kids can even help get in on it. Good for the holidays or even on Sunday barbecue. So hope you're tuning in and enjoy. We'll start out with these potato wedges. On the potato wedges, I pre-boiled them. They're about three quarters of the way cooked. All we gotta do is season them up, throw them on the grill, get a nice crust on it, and we'll go from there. After those, we'll start on our hot dogs. So let's get started with these potato wedges. I got some liquid gold here. It's baking grease. Love it. After you fry the bacon, save the grease. Because it is liquid gold. People pay a lot of money for this stuff. So we'll throw a little bit of that in here. And this is my seasoning here. I got some garlic, salt, pepper, chili flakes, garlic, granulated onion. So we'll go ahead and season those up. Give these a toss. You can't toss like this. Go ahead and put your hand in there and give it a little twirl. So from here, we'll go to our griddle. We'll add those in a minute. When we're ready, let's go ahead and score our hot dogs. So we can all, we'll put them on both at the same time. So now here, we got uh, all beef hot dog. So we'll go ahead and score these. I like scoring in kind of a, I guess, rotating motion. Looks kind of cool when you grill it. Just be careful, watch your fingers, don't cut yourself. Make sure you have a sharp knife, because a dull knife will cut you. Or you can score however you like. This is this is my way, or you can use your way. Okay, we'll go to the grill and we'll put these on our grill. And we're gonna season the griddle with some of that liquid gold again. Your spatula, go ahead and just rub that liquid gold on your griddle. Get it nice and greasy. And my hottest spot will be here towards the back. And we'll set these wedges right on there. You wanna hear that sizzle, that's when you know you're cooking. That's when the magic begins. Put our hot dogs on. Nice. So we'll let these go for a few more, a few minutes, and then we'll come back on check on them. But in the meanwhile, while these are cooking, we can get started on some toppings. Like I always say, you gotta have a good sharp knife to cut your vegetables up so you don't cut your finger. We wanna cut vegetables, not our fingers. We got our dogs on the griddle, our wedges on the griddle. Let's get some toppings going here. I got a tomato, red onion, and a jalapeno. We're gonna make a little pico de gallo. Jalapeno. If you don't want it hot, super spicy, I recommend taking out the membrane inside because this one holds a lot of heat. But I love spicy, so I'm going to keep it in there. Watch your fingers. You can be fast or you can be slow. I'm more in the medium. Our tomatoes, jalapenos, we're gonna do a little bit of red onion. You can do 
white onion, red onion, Vidali onions, grilled onions. For me, this is good enough. I want that fresh crunch action going on inside my dog. While we have our cutting board out, we're gonna chop some of these green onions, which we're gonna use in our sour cream, green chili dip for our wedges. Rinse these off. These can be rough chopped, they don't have to be diced small because we're going to put it in our chopper here. And we got a green chili. Okay, here's our pico. So, you can add cilantro, some lime, but I'm just going to do just like this, nice and fresh, easy. That's ready. Let's take a look at these dogs and wedges here. We got a nice color. Flip, rotate, move it around. These wedges look good. We go to flip. We're almost there. Let's start on this dip. I got sour cream here. A couple of dollops of this. Then we'll add in some green onions. Some roasted green chili, some salt and pepper, put a lid on it. And that is our sour cream roasted green chili onion dip for our wedges. Let's go back to our stove here. I think we can pull the wedges off. So we got our wedges, our hot dogs, we got our pico de gallo, we got our green chili, we got some crispy bacon, sour cream dip for our wedges. With the hot dogs, I made some green chili mayo. So we'll go ahead and grab that out. Got some green chili mayo and white queso dip. You can buy it at the store. It's already canned, it's already made. Pop it in the microwave for a minute and a half. Bada bing, bada bang. She's ready. So I got my bun. I'm gonna add some of this green chili mayo. So with these same roasted green chilies, I just put it in the mixer with some mayonnaise, a little salt and pepper. You wanna we want to mayonnaise both sides of our buns because one side it don't roll. Here's that. Get our hot dog. Put that in there. We'll go with some of our pico. Some green chili. Do some queso on top of that. Oh yeah, look at all that look. Some bacon. Wow, look at that. We'll grab some of these wedges here. We'll add some of our sour cream, green chili onion. So there is our hot dog meal. We got a hot dog with roasted green chili, bacon, some queso dip. Potato wedges on the side with the nice green chili sour cream dipping sauce. It took us about 45 minutes, 15 minutes prep, 30 minute cook time. Easy meal to do any day of the week. Great for the holidays and the barbecue. Surprise your family and friends. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. 
Uh, tune in next time for my next video. Thank you.